Hello everyone, welcome. In this series of videos, we are working on Azure AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Labs that are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning. And I'll give you the link to this uh, GitHub at, in the video at the end. Uh, in this series, we, we started working on Lab 09, Implement Web Apps. We completed the task one in the previous video where we have created an Azure Web App using Azure Web App uh, feature and now in this video we're going to finish task 2 create a staging deployment slot so let's get to the task so in this task we will create a staging deployment slot on the blade of the newly deployed web app click on the URL link to display the default web page in a new browser tab so let's go to our environment so this is the app uh, that we have deployed in this app we're going to work on uh, with this web app to configure our staging environment so let's go back on the blade of the click the URL link to display the default web app. So look at the URL link is right here. So copy that link in a new window. Let's see how does it look like. So this is my web app. So hey app service developers and there's a deployment center and here's a, a link to the quick start. So we have verified that the app service is running and it's running just fine. And I'm going to copy this link in my notepad because we may end up using that link over and over again okay so let's go back to the lab so we have done step one close the new browser tab and back to the Azure portal in the deployment section of the web app blade click deployment slot so let's close this here under deployment you have the deployment slot so let's click on that one note the web app at this point has a single deployment slot labeled production so let's see so here is the deployment slot and this is marked as production state is running here is the app service plan traffic you're also getting a number for that hundred percent and you can read the description to understand what it is deployment slots are live apps with their own host names, app content and configuration elements can be swapped between two deployment slots, including the production slot. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to create another slot and we're going to configure the way the lab is asking us to do. So here we're going to add a slot. The name of the slot is going to be a staging slot and do not clone setting is what we want to choose back on the deployment blade of the web app click the entry representative so at this time just click on add so this is going to add a new slot which is going to be the staging slot for this web application and once that's that's done we're going to click on that staging slot so just let's give it a second and it says successfully created the staging slot so we're gonna close this button and you see that this is you can select that one so now let's go ahead and select it and uh, this will open the blade displaying the properties of the staging slot review the staging slot blade and note the URL is URL differs from the one assigned to the production slot so all we need to do at this time this is a new URL for my web app and again I'm gonna put it back in here and now you can you can clearly clearly tell that the previous one the production one didn't have any production added to my URL and now for the staging one I do let's just quickly check whether this staging site is also available to us and there we go so this is our staging site that is also running and we also have our production site that's running as well 
so let's go back to the lab so for this section task 2 create a staging de deployment slot we have completed we have uh, from the deployment slot we have created a staging slot for the web app in the next section we'll start config configuring the web app deployment setting so thank you for watching this video if you enjoy this video please give me a like subscribe and share with your friends and good luck with the exam see you in the next video thank you